Hello friends, in our previous video, we saw how electricity was discovered and how we use it today to power different appliances. But you will be wondering how this electricity reaches our homes. Or for that matter, how the electricity is even getting generated on such a large scale. To know the answer to these questions, watch this video till the end. We all love fruits and vegetables, but do you know that daily consumptions of fruits and veggies can make us stronger and healthier? After eating a bowl of fruits, we feel fresh, enthusiastic and charged. In other words, we feel energized. But do you know what is energy? The power that we get by utilizing certain resources is called energy. The law of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. Rather, it can only be transformed or transferred from one form to another. And as we already know that we have not been able to utilize the power of lightning, nor the power of the fishes and the scale. Then where do we get the electricity from? Electricity is also a form of energy that we get when we convert other forms of energies like thermal energy, solar energy, kinetic energy, nuclear energy and chemical energy. All these energies come from two groups of resources. Ones that can be used repeatedly are renewable resources. We can never run out of renewable resources. For example, Sun, wind and rivers are sources of renewable energies. And the other resources that are not readily replaced by the nature are called non-renewable resources. Fossil fuels like petroleum are examples of non-renewable resources. It can take billions of years for Earth to form these resources and hence their use is not sustainable. Now that we understood what renewable and non-renewable resources are, let's see how these resources are used to generate electrical energy. Let us take a few examples and collectively understand how the entire process works. Here we have coal, windmills, hydropower station, solar thermal power plant and a nuclear power plant. We burn coal and the heat which is generated is used to turn water into steam and the steam is then used to spin large turbines. Windmills harness the power of the wind and use it to spin the turbines. In hydropower stations, force of water is used to spin the turbines. In solar thermal power plant, heat energy from the sun is directed to a single point when we pass water through that point, it turns into steam and the steam is then used to spin the turbines. Even in a nuclear power plant, splitting of uranium atoms takes place. This process produces huge amount of heat energy, which is then used to turn water into steam and again the steam helps us to spin the turbines. Now we just saw that all these resources are primarily used to spin the turbines. But how can spinning turbines produce electricity? The turbines of these power plants are connected to an appliance called a generator. A generator converts the mechanical energy caused due to the spinning of turbines into electrical energy. A generator works on electromagnetic principles which were discovered by Michael Faraday in the year 1831. Now the electrical energy that is generated by these power plants is carried by a system of wires and it eventually reaches our homes. We will learn the working of a generator in detail in our upcoming chapter, The Magnetic Effect of Electric Current. So that's it for today. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you can get all the notifications of our videos. Until next time, keep watching, keep learning and follow your curiosity. Thank you.